was fun. Skeeters ate me up, but uh, check out Pactoy, uh lettuce. These are plants that made it through Hurricane Irma. Red lettuce grown. We're going to have salads. Okay. Of course, you know, pak choy growing. Basil. That's our third harvest. This, I've used only about total, about 20 gallons of water to grow uh, three or four harvests out of this. Probably about $100 worth of basil. And then right here, sweet potatoes. You guys can't grow spinach. I tried spinach several times. I'm having, you know, a tough time with the heat. And uh, this sweet potato, you can use those leaves. You can cut them just like they are, toss them in soup. They're awesome. You can chop it up and throw it in your stir fry and use it just like spinach. Um, and that's the easiest thing to grow. You know, we're not going to worry about growing a sweet potato or a tuber down inside of there. All, all we're worried about down there is roots. So your root system's in there. And you can keep harvesting this over and over and over again. And if the bugs get to some of it, cut it off, a new shoot will come up. And this thing would, it, it's hard, you can't hardly kill this thing. So if you can't grow spinach, grow some sweet potato leaves. Try that. It's not on the market. You know, the, the Asian markets might have it sometimes, but, but it's not a, a commodity over here in America. But you're missing out if you're not trying that. Don't eat real potato leaves. That's nightshade family, and that's highly poisonous. Sweet potatoes are the only things you can eat. So go ahead and do a little research. Look it up. You know, don't just take my word for it, but sweet potato leaves in place of spinach in a heat. Mr. Doozy out. Let's go eat some pop choy.